guys, Elephant here. Today we are back with another video. This video is going to be a little bit different. This is going to teach you how to make a free intro, simple and easy. Let's get right into it. This is how I do my intros. You're not going to need to really, you're not going to need to download anything. It's completely um, in your browser. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to panzoid.com. Um, it'll bring you to this page. There's Clip Maker, Community Templates, Template 0 0.5, and bra Background of 3. You can make um, like YouTube banners and stuff here. It's pretty good for making banners, thumbnails, channel art, stuff like that. Um, there's like a Clip Maker point 0 0.5. I don't recommend it because the Clip Maker 2 is way better, way more features, and it's less buggy and stuff. So, uh... <clears throat> And then there's also community templates. Um, so like if you wanted to t choose a template for something, um, there aren't really a ton of templates. It's in beta, but like you could just scroll through the templates and choose one that you like. I'm choosing one that I like, that I think looks cool. Um, this one looks cool. So like you can like, um, like if you're too lazy or you don't really know how to make an intro, you could just like take a template. So, like, say you wanted that to be your intro, you can just change the text. I'll do text and then change this to text. And it'll. That's pretty much it. And it's not hard to do. But um, for this, I'm just going to I'm going to teach you how to make your own intro. So, uh, yeah, you're just going to want to go to panzoid.com, link in the description if it's, it's really, it's really simple to type. It's like something like 10 letters or something like that. I'm not going to count it because it's not just, it's just irrelevant. It doesn't really matter. So you're going to want to click Clip Maker 2 and then it'll bring you to this page. There's also templates here, but I don't really recommend them, recommend them. Like if you wanted to actually use templates, just pick one from here because these are better than these ones in my opinion, but there are good ones in here to be honest. But, um... <clears throat> I'm just gonna teach you how to make a like, kind of simple intro, like kind of like an intro, like mine sort of. So you're gonna want to go to objects. This is what I'm. This is what I do. I go to objects, text, and then I create a new text layer. And as you can see, it's Panzoid by default. And by um, I'll just teach you what these buttons do. This plays it. This plays a clip. This views like views what the clip will actually look like. This mutes the sound. This puts it in slow motion. And this kind of brings this up. I always have this on, but since I have no music, it's it's a waveform, as you can see. Um, but since I have no music, then it's not going to work, obviously. So I'm going to add some music. Um, so, music. Music. And then all files. And then we'll just choose, choose this one. And then as you can see, but when we play it. Think I can fly. It's in the it's the beginning of it. it's the beginning of it so you're gonna want to change the start offset to whenever the beat drops or wherever you really want it. All right, pass it. Pass it again. And like right around here. Farther. Close it down. Sorry if it's too loud. It might actually be too loud now that I think of it. Um, but oh, what's it called? I'll just lower my sound, I guess. All right, that should probably be probably be better or something, maybe. But so yeah. So it's it's got your sound, but say it's not long enough. You could go to this little checkbox thing and then see where it says length. You could change that. Like, say you wanted one second. Um, but for this, I want it to, like, sound good. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit and go to the end. Um, 
Yeah, sounds good. Let's zoom back in here. Um, so like if you wanted to add a background, um, you could go to outdoor blocks or darkness blocks. It's just like a Minecraft world. I don't really like how it looks. It's not it doesn't really look Minecraft in my opinion. Or you could just do complete darkness where it's completely black and then you can change like the lighting and stuff. Um, so if it's like if it's darkness, then it's just completely darkness. Like, you can't see anything. You're going to have to man manually add a light. And then there's also outdoor, where you could change, like, all these different ones. Um, sometimes it may be black, but this, like, changes. You have to wait for it to um, render the image. Um, for this, I'm just going to do a space kind of look, I think. Just wait for this to load up and render. And there. So once it's rendered, usually what I do is I go to um camera i mean light and then i add that and then i change the position to where it's in front of the text and usually i move it back quite a bit so like the sides are are dimmer but the front is like brighter so it just looks a little bit nicer in my opinion you could actually see what it says and it's not hard to read and um so once you got that you might not like the text so you can change the texts or the what it says for this I'll just put um, name just because and then I don't really like text so you can change it to whatever text you like there's a if you want to make a minecraft one there's a minecraft text for this one um, not sure which one I'll do this one I'll do this text and then I'll put the height a little bit up so it like fits the screen you can change the height and everything it just makes it bigger or smaller Maybe like there-ish and then say you wanted to have like uh like a little border on the outside or something um you just click this little like two rectangles not rectangles two squares that says duplicate duplicates the layer and then what you're going to do is you're going to turn the bevel on so you just turn that on and then you just want to turn change the color uh for this one i'll do i'm going to go for like a kind of green template or a green intro and as you can see, it makes the whole thing green, but you don't want that, so you're gonna want to go. With, and it might be too thin. I don't. It's too. It's too thin in my hope that I did not mean to do that. Don't change the height when you want to do this. Change the thickness. So I'm gonna make it thicker, and then same with this one, except I don't want it fully. Like that looks no. There we go. So as you can see, now we've got like a kind of like an outline to it, I guess. So I'll just change this a little bit. Okay. So now you have kind of like your basic text sort of thing. And um, so now what you're going to do. So now that you have your text and everything. And you want to like. What if you want to make like the camera and everything. So for this you're going to have to go outside of the, um, the render preview. And then it's, you could like. The middle mouse wheel zooms in and out, and then the the left mouse button kind of pans it around the text, I guess, and then the right mouse button just kind of moves it. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead, for kind of like a swipe, and sort of no, we'll go like from here, and then make sure at the beginning, and then you click use current, and then you're gonna want to go like on the timeline to where. To where like you want it to go and I'm gonna go like around here ish and then I'm gonna make it go to the front and comp keep in mind this is completely free and then kind of make it in the front a little bit and then click use current so now if we go into the re render preview you got that now actually I'm just going to show you a quick intro that I have made before. Um, so click maker. Okay, so this is like an intro that I made um, not too long ago. I kind of like it. Here's what it looks like. I think it's okay. Not too sure. But so for this, like, it kind of looks pretty plain. It's just a text, and that's it. So what I'm gonna do 
it's kind of adds to like some particles. Particles are pretty advanced. They're you got to get used to them and kind of mess around with them to get used to them. So you're gonna have a little bit of a particles layer, and then um, as you can see, if we go like this, oh, they don't show up. Oh yeah, they do. As you can see, they're in the middle, and uh, like you might not like the color of them. So what we're gonna do. I'm gonna change them to like a like a bright green kind of mint color, and then see it bright green mint color here actually and then I'll make this white and then um, that's a color and then size white means it's big and black means it's small so I'm gonna make it white because I want the particles to be bigger and then time does that it's nothing like crazy uh, it's kind of hard to explain well not really like time it, like the higher the time the I don't, it's hard to explain so I do like that and then gravity some people don't want it going down they just want it still so then that doesn't really do much it doesn't really make it move at all so now we're gonna do like um, initial velocity wait 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 oops no don't want to do initial velocity do velocity spread and then that kind of spreads it all out like so so if you want to make like 3d intros this is what we want to do and then you want to turn the emitter rate up and number of particles make sure you don't do it too much because then it's just kind of too much and then render preview and then as you can see it's cut you can't see through them kind of bad so to change that to where they're like you could see through them um, you're gonna want to go to where, where the color is and then this tab here this changes the opacity I'm gonna turn that down so you could see through them it's not like super intense so now you can kind of see through the particles except for in the middle it's really bright and that's because there's a lot of particles there um it doesn't really matter I, ca I can't really I don't really know how to fix that um, but I mean, it's okay to me. I could deal with it. So, um, yeah, that's kind of like the intro so far. It's nothing. It's nothing too insane. So, like, we just kind of have some kind of thing to make it a little bit better looking, I guess. Also, you're gonna want to add an anti-alia, anti, anti-alia, aliasing. I don't know how to say it. Anti anti-aliasing thing I don't know but add that up add, add that at the beginning because it just kind of makes everything look a little, little bit nicer um, but okay so right at the drop I'm gonna have the particles disappear so right here I'm gonna just make just go up here click time and then go right to the drop and then turn it to a negative so it's not there anymore. Now go over here, turn this to a negative as well. Go all the way to the end. Um, so this this is what you have so far. So right on the drop. Actually, I'm gonna move that forward or back a little bit. So uh, now I'm gonna add like another particle layer. So when it when it kind of drops, hang on initial position. I'm gonna turn that back so it's not interfering with the text. Then velocity spread, I don't want it going forward. I just want it staying there. And then I want I want it to spread like out and up. And then you're gonna turn the number of particles and the emitter rate up. And also you're gonna want to make it so the time. It's not interfering with the fort. So right here, just turn the time negative, and then same with at the beginning. Then this is what you have. Actually, that, that doesn't really look good. Turn the time down to zero point one or something, and then um, at the end we'll turn it up. Yeah, eight's good. Or is it? 
We'll do, I'm just, just experimenting around with the text to how you like it. We need to have more of like, wait. More, it needs to be more intense in my opinion. So we'll turn the time more up so it kind of explodes quicker. And then obviously the colors are terrible. So we'll change the color. The colors are completely randomized until you change them yourselves or yourself. So now when it explodes. Not the greatest. And sometimes, usually what I like doing, like, every time it goes, like, boom, 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 I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain, like, every, like, kick, um, I like to have, like, the particles go, shh, and then the kick happens, and then they kind of reset, and then they go, shh, again, and then, like, it goes, boom, boom, and then it's, shh, shh, I don't know, it's hard, <laughs> it's hard to explain, that kind of sounded stupid, um, but you could also change, like, the texture of the particles, so, right, it's, the default is RC. I like the waterfall part particle when when I'm doing the explosions. And also to add like a ton more detail, you're gonna want to add a shake to the drop. Um, and that's just gonna kind of it's it, it's self-explanatory pretty much. So then you're just gonna add a shake. And once again, you can experiment around with the shake and everything. So this is the shake. Just add the shake. Like if you turn the shake up a lot this is what happens it just looks trippy it does not look good and then if you turn the shake speed up even worse even worse even it's even worse so yeah i wouldn't recommend going past 10 um for the shake and then shake speed 30 no way like 30 is too much as well it's 30 is way too fast like turn it down to about like seven or like don't go past 20 like 15 is 13 and a uh, bigger a uh, biggish bigger shake shake speed too much more of a shake So that's what we have so far. Um, and some people just stop it there. Some people would like, oh, I like that. That's it. And it's not good enough for me. So when it drops, we're gonna have some more effects. For example, we're gonna have like a bloom that prepare for some trippiness. Oh, you didn't do it. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Derp, because I haven't added it. Yep, there's the trippiness. So right here, I'm going to disable it. And right here, disable it. Um, and also, I have to get rid of this. And this. And then I have to get rid of this. Oh, hang on. Turn it on. Off. There we go. Wait, oh, that's why, that's why. Because I, I didn't have the layer selected. Rest in peace, okay, so let's... <laughs> I'm gonna have it no bloom until the drop. Just to kind of make it a little bit more intense, in my opinion, because it's all about like intenseness, not really. But like some people like intense intros, some people don't. So you don't necessarily have to do this, but you could still mess around with the bloom to however you like it. I guess I keep doing that. I keep doing the anti-aliasing thing. Make sure you have the boom, the the bloom selected, and then do it. Do that, make sure it's off, and then turn it on here. And then one's the highest you can go. It just kind of makes it look a little brighter. Actually, that might be too much. Yeah, that's too much. Turn the bloom down because. Well, let's just kind of mess around with it a little bit. Yeah, okay, that's good. It's gonna get even more brighter when you add the radial blur. Radial blur, and the radial blur makes it even more trippy. So what you could do with the radial blur, I'm gonna have it disabled real quick. 
So, um, disabled, okay. So, we're on the drop. So right here, I have it, hang on, have it off, okay, have it on. Make it to make it intense, but you don't want it that intense because then it's just really trippy. So I just turn it down. Like I like having um that on, but then I just don't. It's like too bright. Actually, no, no, no. Wait, no, you don't want the weight. You want this. No, 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 no. You have that at zero, and then you can turn the weight up, and then the density is the like the best part about it, I guess. I'm not sure you can like you can, like that is way too intense. You do not want that much. So like, let's say about that. That's good enough, and then turn it a little bit brighter. Yeah, that's good. I like it. I guess we'll see how it looks. Okay, so at the drop. And like when the camera stops moving, so it stops moving right here. I'm gonna have a fish eye, and basically what a fish eye does is it kind of makes it zoom in or zoom out. This is what I use for my drops. Or yeah, the drops. So fish eye. Ooh, keep doing that. That's really annoying me. How it doesn't automatically select it. Okay, fish eye. And then amount, it's like right here, we're gonna have like, it enable, kind of have it like zoom out a little bit. That's what I'm thinking, that's what I'm thinking owning. So as you can see, if it's on, it kind of zooms it in. And it's just basically a fisheye. Like, it's <laughs> hard to explain. So like right here, I'm gonna have it at zero. And then, at the drop, have it here and then here I'm not really good at commentating over this just gonna like turn the amount to a, ne a negative number you cannot see what um, I'll fix that actually if you if you do the bloom add the bloom right here oh not the bloom the radial ugh, excuse me radial radial blur you can like adjust the brightness and everything. Actually, that didn't really work out well. Oh, cause it's off, okay. On, turn the brightness down, I guess, but. Um, yeah, I'm, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Anyway. Right, right. right, you have to drop the fish eye. I want, I want it like, a little bit intense. Actually, the text is too high up. I just noticed. So I'll turn the. I'll put the text. Move the text down a little bit. Actually, no. I'll just move the camera up. Um. So just move the camera up a little bit, or down. Yeah, up, up, up. Um. This is up, right? No, this. This is up. Okay. So I moved it up. Move it up more. Yeah, that's good. So now for the fish eye on the drop. Make it look a little bit more intense, I guess. Yeah, and this is what you have for the, for the intro so far. So it's okay. Back to the drop. And for like every beat, you're gonna have to have like have the fish eye. Um kind of different I guess so like right here um, this is what I usually do I make three of the same thing and then I skip two frames and then I do another one and then I change the one in the middle down so then it looks like this and 
and then I just kind of mess around with it. And it's a little bit laggy because I'm recording. Because it kind of lags. Um. So yeah, like, it just kind of does that. Pretty self-explanatory, I guess. So then you're gonna want, like, each kick, um, I add one of those, so. It adds, like, quite a bit of detail, in my opinion. It's, like, pretty standard intro kind of thing. And then it just makes sure it's, okay, so it's 19... 19.1 doesn't really matter. And then this. Sorry for not talking, I'm kind of like, it's pretty, like, straightforward, I guess. Like, it's just doing the whole intro, so. As you can see, like, each kind of beat, it goes, like, it flashes at you. And then you pretty much do that for the whole intro. I'm not going to do it for the whole intro because it's kind of a waste of time. And then at the end, what I like to do, so like right around here-ish, um, I like to add a shutter, and then make sure that the, put the cover at zero, make sure it's at zero at the beginning as well. And then we'll just go to the end, all the way at the end, and then cover 50. And my headphones just died, but oh well. So, it kind of fades out, as you can see. So I'm gonna have a little bit before that, and then, as you can see, closes. Um, so yeah, it's pretty straightforward. It's not really hard to make intros in this. Android has made it really easy and simple to make an intro. I'll just play what I have. Um. Obviously, if I were making an intro for someone, I'd make it completely. Um, it takes me about an hour to make an intro because I like putting time and effort and stuff into it. But yeah, this is what it is so far. Like, obviously, it'd be better if I was trying to make. If I was putting time into it, I didn't really try on this one. It's just a little bit of a tutorial to teach you guys how to use everything. I think I covered everything. Um, also, you could add, like, wires and stuff, um, and, like, different, what you, what you call it, like, if you were to go to, um, a shape, you can add a, like, shape, box, cylinder, rectangle, circle, sphere, donut, wire, and then if you wanted to add a model, there's only two models currently, um, what? Okay, it's a little glitched out. Huh. But usually if you click if you do a model, it's an AK forty seven and a um myst mystery box for like the black ops people that want to um do uh intros. Um but we're just gonna add a shape real quick and then I'll, I'll just add a wire. Okay, it's it's reversed, so this is what you would see if you were using a model, an AK-47 and a mystery box, and then a shape, even though it says model. Okay, what? I'm confused. Alright, that's a little bit of a bug, I guess. It is in beta, so you're going to click wire, or you don't have to click wire, but I'm going to click wire for the purpose of this video. And then change the rot rotation, the rotisserie. I almost said the rotisserie. <laughs> rotation to 90 or wherever you really want it to face. And then the position. Um, make sure this is all like different stuff. Like you want it off frame, so like usually I just make it like way out of frame and stuff. And then I go to the beginning and then make sure it's way out of frame. 
but now you can't see it. And then, um, then the wire kind of comes in, but I'm not going to have it like right here. It's pretty easy, honestly. Um, just move it out of frame. Move it like right here-ish. And then position, and then kind of slowly move it in. Is what I'm going for. Actually, I need to have the size up. So scale. Just gonna have it in frame here so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, rip. Scale. And then, oh. And then oh, and then oh. Appearance, single color. You can change the color and everything for it as well. Thickness. Change the thickness for it. And then you could have like the different amount of loops and stuff. So if you want more loops, you could have like a ton of loops. I'm not gonna have too many. Um, Stitch makes it like out more, I guess you could say. Thickness, that just makes it thick, obviously. Uh, loops, that's, that's about it. And it's gonna kind of fit it perfectly. And then move it off frame again. Okay, so how many frames? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's right here. Put the position. More. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can just kind of play around with it. Do whatever you really want. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven actually. And then, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. And then, but yeah, I would definitely spend more time on this if I was um actually trying. And I'm gonna turn this way up so it kind of rotates. When it's going through, you can see it's rotating. And then you can do like, like that. As you can see, it is rotating because the uh, rotation is getting greater. You probably won't be able to notice it. A little. So I just add a little bit, little bit more detail into the intro. So this is just what I have. Like I said, this is just a template. It's nothing major. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is just how to use Panzoid Clip Maker. Let me know what tutorials um, you guys would like me to do in the future. Um, like I could, I'll do any tutorial recommended in the comments. So um, unless I get like an insane amount of support on this, which I might, maybe, who knows? Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please make sure to stop on that like button. Comment with up this video. Comment what you thought about this video. Whether or not it helped you and you want to see some more tutorials in the future. Also subscribe if you have an Anio channel to see some more tutorials, Minecraft gameplay, etc. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.